Hey Collective, it's your girl Stace from Divine Guidance Tarot. Here to do an energy read because I feel like it. Get us a Soul's Journey card. See where we at. What's the message for us for today's spirit? What's this? This card doesn't even belong in here. Oh yes it does. Child, listen. That was acceptance. <laughs> Let's see what comes out. Flipped over in my hand. Remember that time is fluid. So whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Alright, what's the soul's jet? Oh, we got nope. Let's see. Ooh. Y'all anxious to get out today, huh? <laughs> Can I get one card, please, Spirit? And thank you. One card. What does my collective need to know today? What do they need to work on? Give me some space. What do they need to work on? Trust. Mm. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And pride. Hmm. So some of you guys could be dealing with pride and trust. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I washed my hair this morning. I got water in my ear. Um, what are we going to cl clarify with? Um, hmm. Let's do the light sears. Oh, you know what I think we... You know what this calls for? This calls for the Infinity Oracle deck. Child, where we at? There we go. I got you. Trust and pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Alright, so this pride thing here. I'm picking up on the energy of feeling good about yourself. Feeling good about your accomplishments. Not This isn't an, an ego, I'm better than pride. This is a pride in you learning how to love yourself and you're proud of yourself and you're proud of how far you come and you know why because you put trust in in spirit and god you know what i'm saying in the universe into your higher self i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly mm. so you're 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 following your, the guidance of the universe of god okay you're healing you're learning how to trust yourself, you learn how to trust God, and also you're learning empathy as well. Because empathy is seeing your seeing yourself in other people. Spirit, what's the message? Speak your truth. Uh huh. You need to speak your truth. There's a generous offer coming towards you. Mm hmm. Spirit, what's this message? Summer. Something could be happening in the summertime. Hmm. This is something maybe you already know that you, that this could be something that you're working on. You could be guided to speak your truth. You could be guided to 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 be some kind of speaker. Generous offer in the summer. Spirit, what's this message from my collective about trust? Spirit, what's this message? I heard trust the process. Be patient. Continue continue on the path that you're on. Don't get weary. Don't get disgruntled. Don't get tired of being patient and waiting on God. Come on, Spirit. Yes. Temptation. Yes, you could be tempted you know maybe this was last summer or this could be this summer coming you could be tempted to um venture out on your own i'm hearing or to follow your not your calling but you could be tempted to follow your your fleshly uh desires come on listen self-love i'm telling you listen and it's just a karmic lesson come on spirit 
Well, you could have been tempted by a generous offer, but you trusted the process. You trusted your inner voice. You listened to your intuition. Spirit, what's this message? Summer. This was summer. June, July, August. Somebody's a runner. Mm. Mm. Maybe you need to uh, speak your truth to someone. Maybe somebody offered you something or, or had you believe that something was all good. And then they turn around and this person like ghosted you damn near. Yep, take control of your life. You had to take control of the situation. Yep, could have caused a separation as well. Something about summer. Something I'm supposed to be getting about summer. The sun, Leo energy, the fire energy. It's hot in the summer. Temptation. Spirit, mm. what's this message? But I feel like whatever the situation is, I feel like you you know, you're speaking your truth. You're 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 talking about how hard you work to get to where you are, you know what I'm saying? And you're trusting your intuition when it tells you to either walk away from something, go in another direction, go down this street. You know, could have even been about a person. Maybe you, you knew this person had issues. Maybe you can read people's energy very well. You know, take it how it resonates. I don't know why I said it. It's what came out. Spirit, what's this message? Where's this going, Spirit? Messages from Spirit. Come on, that's why you said it. <laughs> come on, Spirit. <laughs> Somebody may want to come in and apologize. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up... That you could get some kind of generous offer um, by, uh, in the summer. And the t you, there you may be tempted to with somebody that may try to come back from your past. Because this running energy. Yeah, this is a message that Spirit is giving you. Or oh, you've already got the message. Take it how it resonates. Trust what your inner voice is telling you. It will always guide you correctly. So you're so this is a confirmation reading for somebody. Spirit, what's this message? Yep, set healthy boundaries. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to set healthy boundaries with this person. Yep, this person may have caused you some kind of heartbreak. Listen, what did I say? They ghosted you, didn't I? Thank you. This is somebody that's very non-committal. Mm-hmm. And it's like you don't even judge this person because you're you're in that energy of empathy, you know, you understand, you know what it's like to be in that person's position and behaviors that come with it. You understand, you can see it, you know what I'm saying? Come on, spirit. You know you gotta set healthy boundaries with this person because you you see yourself in others. Come on now. Mm, come on, spirit. Talk about it. Listen, heartbreak. Mm-hmm. This is going to be very tempting for you, but you need to set healthy boundaries. This might hurt somebody's feelings, but it is what it is. Yes, new friendship. Hmm. What's that about, Spirit? But we got to stay on the books on the board. What's this runner? Spirit, what is this? Abundance is near. Hmm. What's on the bottom? Yep, you're going to regain your balance. Something may have um, maybe, you know, dealing with this person made you feel unbalanced. Confusion of definitely with this runner energy. Mm -hmm. And you learned that you needed to set healthy boundaries with this person because this person just kept breaking your heart over and over and over again. And because you learned how to trust yourself and your inner voice, you have abundance that's coming for you. And abundance is not always financial. Abundance is peace, freedom, um, all that shit that comes with being released from bondage. I would put it like that from the chains being taken off your neck and your legs and your hands. Spirit, what's this message? There it is again. 
this is special look, right on the message from spirit this is a specific message and spirit is trying to push this through because this regained balance just keeps coming up yes because you may have been left dazed and confused didn't i say that yes i did hmm so you could get an unexpected message from someone or maybe you didn't expect this message i don't know take it how it resonates Hmm. What's this message spirit for my collective? New love is coming in. Ooh. Yep, because you decide to set healthy boundaries. Listen, mirroring. Listen, whoever you was dealing with, they showed you. They showed you the energy that you walk in. And when you saw this person you realize that you were sacrificing yourself to be in a relationship with this person because this person did not have healthy boundaries this person was a runner this person was very inconsistent all right and you and by by spirit allowing you to have to go through that it was teaching you how to set healthy boundaries every time we go through pain doesn't mean it's something that's meant to hurt us or it's unfair. It's meant to teach us how to move different in the world. It's teaching us about people. That people aren't everything that you see on the outside. People are way deeper than that. People are dealing with traumas and issues every single day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I kind of got annoyed when I heard it. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> What's this message, spirit? <laughs> yep, destiny. This is your destiny. You're walking in your in your destiny. Look, keep the faith. Don't give up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't be tempted by this person. Or if you were, you set up your healthy boundaries. You're getting message from spirit that, yes, this is what you were meant to do. You were supposed to do it like this. You do have a new love coming in because it's destined. Because you did the work. You 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 turned away from the temptation. You remember what you learned the last time you dealt with whatever the situation or person is. And you you made a new choice. You trusted that and accept that your inner voice will always guide you correctly. Your higher self will always. Thank you, spirit. What's the message? Mm, apology. Yeah, apologize to yourself. For taking you so long to see things in a different perspective. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm done. Have a good day. Those deuces.